All right, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get a HDMI clean feed output from your iPhone 15 Pro Max, and that is using the Black Magic Camera app. And for the monitoring, I'm going to be using an Atomos Ninja here. Now, just a quick thing to explain: I'm not entirely sure whether this same process will work for the standard 15 or the 15 Plus. It will definitely work the same with the Pro and the reason why I'm not too sure about the other two phones is because the Pro and the Pro Max use the same fast USB-C output whereas the standard 15 and the 15 Plus don't use the same speed output for USB-C so I cannot confirm one way or the other as to whether or not this process will work on the standard 15 and the 15 Plus. Anyways the first thing that we need to do here is to make sure that we actually have the monitoring switched on or the monitoring function switched on so what we need to do first is to go into settings on the Blackmagic camera app here okay now when we're in settings we need to come down here to where it says monitor and then in this list here we've got something that says HDMI clean feed we need to make sure that that is switched on so there we go it is now switched on so I can go back now to the camera app there and what I'm going to do now is to plug in a cable between the phone and the monitor and this cable here I'm not too sure where I can get focus because I've locked focus here for the screen this cable is a simple USB-C to HDMI cable and this is by cable creation now this particular cable conforms to DP alt mode 1.4 which is important for this type of setup but this cable definitely works so let me just unravel this cable so obviously what we do we take the USB-C end of the cable put that into the iPhone now this might start getting a bit messy now because there's cables involved now give me a moment and then we take the HDMI end of the cable and we plug that to the HDMI input of whatever device we want to monitor on obviously like I've just said I'm using the Ninja here so I'm just going to plug that into the Ninja's input and then what we should notice really quickly if I can get this back in shot properly we've now got a HDMI clean feed going on now another quick thing just to show you here is uh, the latency which is actually really low so I'm just going to run my hand across the camera on the iPhone here and as we can see the latency on the monitor here is really good so it has definitely still got latency there however it's like you know it's not slow or it's not particularly slow and also if I go into record mode so let me just hit record oh actually I was in record mode okay so that latency that you just seen was in record mode now if I do this this is out of record mode so you can see the latency and I'll just quickly go back into record mode again and there we go there's the latency in record mode now one quick thing that's worth pointing out here as well is that although we do get the clean feed coming out of the iPhone unfortunately we don't get the frame rate that the iPhone is actually set to for the recording so if I just switch over to the ninja here as we can hopefully see in the top corner here on the Ninja, that's telling me that it's receiving a UHD signal at 59.94 frames per second. Now, I've got the iPhone here set to 25 frames per second for the recording. So what appears to be happening here is that the Ninja is just picking up the iPhone's output, which is 59.94 frames per second. So even though we do get the clean feed out of the app, as it were, the iPhone can it takes over and basically resynchronizes the actual 25 frames per second or basically interpolates it into 59.94 so unfortunately if you were thinking about recording externally you will actually always be recording at 59.94 frames per second regardless of whatever frame rate you are set to with inside the actual app now I don't think that's anything to do with black magic I think that's just something that's actually you know been done by the phone itself anyways that should just about do it for this video then and if you are interested in anything that's been used within this video there will be amazon links in the video description below also if you are into stuff to do with the iphone 15 i will be doing a ton of stuff on this channel to do with the iphone 15 i'll also be revisiting some stuff to do with the ipad pro and digging into some more mac stuff as well quite a bit of stuff to do with video production and also product related stuff for these apple devices so 
anyway, if you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.